Hello friends, welcome to my channel where I make coral draw easy and fun to learn. In this video, I'm going to be doing this flyer inside of coral draw. If you don't mind, kindly subscribe to my channel and please turn on post notifications so you miss any video I'll be dropping anytime from now. Without having to waste much more time, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is click on file. I'm using the coral draw 2021, but you can use any version of your choice. And if you need the coral draw, click on the link in the description of this video to get that from the community, right? So I'm just going to set this and 5x5 five five inches, resolution 300. Right, so let's get started. The first thing I need to do is double click on this rectangle like this. And um, you have something like this. And always make sure, I'm going to give it a white color, but right click here to move the outline. Right, right click there to move the outline. Great, go back to your selection tool like this. And what you want to do is make a duplicate copy of this shape. So, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, I've made a copy of this. Ctrl C and Ctrl V, that's copy and paste. I'm going to change the color of that one so I can differentiate these two shapes. Right, I'm going to leave this like this and I'm going to convert it to curves. I'm going to use my shape tool to bring it up like this and I'm going to bring it down like this right right click here and click on to curve and I'm just going to use this to direct the curve parts so when you see the plus you can move this all right, so I'm just going to shape this this way and move it like this. So I'm going to duplicate this, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and I'm going to move this upward. I'm going to change the color so I can differentiate. So yeah, so with this one, I'm just going to make sure it's behind the white. So how do I do that? Very simple. Right click and um, click on order and click on back one right so you can see it's behind the white exactly where i want it to be i'm just going to move it down slightly you can use your arrow keys to move it down just like this and uh what i want to do is get this call shape out of what i have here right i don't need those two shapes right so um let me adjust this a bit take this up here like this and relax it on that part and make this one pop a bit so I'm going to click here and click on smart fill and I'm going to click this point here like this right so you can see that's created a shape for me and uh, ctrl x to cut it delete the shape behind it and paste this one back ctrl v so you have this in place of that remove the outline and um, you just want to shape this the right way and bring this down here zoom close and bring this down like this right this is in place so i'm going to change these colors up to so that we can actually differentiate what we have okay good so um let's move on to the next thing we need to do so at this point i'll go and um, bring in my first image right the resource file is in the description of this video right drag and drop like this and um, i'm going to hold down shift while i'm resizing this and of course what you want to do is make sure it is inside of this so click power clip and click on this and double click to move it well in place All right great okay when you are done just click on finish and this is what you have right um i want to adjust it a bit and just move it to this part here so when you're done just click finish like this okay so the next thing you want to do is add a gold um, gradient to this part right to this part here so
because you have gold on the image like that so go to your source file drag and drop this yes you can open um adobe illustrator files inside coral draw so make sure you check mark this too and of course it will open up for you so make it smaller to reduce the size I'm just going to place this here. Make sure you ungroup them by clicking that. And now you want to choose any of this beautiful set of gradients and apply it. You can see. So click on this and um, press G on your keyboard and drag like this. Right? So what you want to do here is come and click on this copy field. Of course, go over to the gradient of your choice. And um, for instance, I want this. I'm going to click on this. It's going to apply. If I don't want that, I'm going to click here, copy field. I'm going to come here and um, select that one, right? So it's very, very easy for you to download gradients and um, copy the fields on shapes or and um, text. So I'm going to go over to my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw something like this, right? And um, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to select a dark color from this part here and apply it to the shape. So I don't want this rectangle to be on top. I want it to be beneath that shape. So click order and click behind and select this. You can see it's behind it now, right? So um, a few things you want to do again, Control C and Control V to copy and paste this. And what you want to do is bring this down, right? and uh, make sure you have a little bit of space in between like here so uh, with this i'm going to apply the gradient feel to it so press g on your keyboard do this make sure you move the outline very important press g and what you want to do is go up here and copy any gradient of your choice to apply the gradient here there you go so click out and i'm just going to go on Select the two of them, I'm going to make it slightly wider and I'm going over to apply my text. So I'm just going to forward this a bit. Okay, so what I'm doing here is um, I use my ellipse. I'm going to give it a color, remove the outline, and just draw a small circle like this. I'm going to select this color here and I'm going to apply it to the circle. So I'm just going to use this as a bullet point, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, and spread it downwards like this. okay so right about now i'm just going to go in and bring in some other text i'd already typed this and um yes this is it so i'm going to drag and drop like this and i'm just going to bring it inside click ok nonetheless and um, drag it to this point here like this you can ungroup it so you can arrange it well so i'm just going to select and move this to the edge select and uh, make sure it's aligned to the right just like the way it is here select this do the same thing for this to the right and um, okay i want to position this well so select this and um, make sure it's at the edge here so select everything uh, make it slightly smaller not too small but somewhere around here this is one of the important details inside of this flyer so make sure it's legible enough for your audience to read and of course i'm going to use this for the contact us button so rectangle i'm going to give it the same color eyedropper and 
fill the color there make sure you remove the outline and go over to your shape tool and click this is how you create rounded corners in Corel Draw. So I'm just going to copy this text here, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, give it white, and I'm going to use it to type contact us. okay so uh, moving on i'm going to go over to my resource file again i'm going to bring in the logo and um, place it here make it smaller it's too big too big very big uh, make it slightly bigger put it here make sure it's somewhere around here very important and um, when you're done with that good i like it somewhere here so um move on to the moving on to the next thing go over to your folder click on this drag and drop inside here like this so what you want to do is also hold down shift to make this smaller i'm still going to make it smaller so hold down shift and make it smaller again and um drag it over to this point here like this so what you want to do with this is add in some extra details to this make it bigger right and i'm going to copy this here so that i can have my text and i can modify it okay so you have it nicely done so we have our details ready and set so i can highlight this and um, delete it i no longer have use for it and guys if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up like this video so youtube can recommend it to other persons interested in it don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification i'll see you in the next video i love you all